Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're talking about the new version of Magic Samplitude Pro X, which is the Pro X7. Just before I begin, I just want to explain that in the past, uh, Magix did send me free licenses for the past version, though, so Pro X 1, 2, 3, and so on, in exchange for making some videos. And this time I contacted them and it was not the same song. <laughs> um, they asked me to uh, apply for an affiliate account, which I did, and they did not give me a license. I paid it with my own money, but you will find some links in the description of this video um, if you ever plan to buy a Magic products, please come back to my videos. Um, all those recent will have those links and you choose the product you want, you click. It does not cost more money for you, but there's a little kick kickback to my channel so I can grow and uh, give you better content. So that said, we're talking about the new features of Pro X7. Let's dive in. Okay, before we, we begin, let's check the setting really fast. Uh, by default, it's uh, choosing Magic's low latency 2016. I'm gonna change that to ASIO Fireface USB for my interface. The audio naming looks like that. Uh, what is different is that this part, the one and two, you can't change. If you double click, um, I can write that it is a ISC preamp and then it will show right here, one, two. Okay, let's record it a little bit. Um, it's going to give me a mono track. My input audio is on the 11th input and let's hit R. One, two, one, two. This is a test. One, two, one, two. This is a test. All right, here we are in the new features. Export workflow. Let's check this. Export to where? File naming. From which output? The format. And there's some presets for a CD, for a video. That's great. And you can save some. That That's nice. Next, new use external hardware effects as plugin. Go in the plugin browser, and here you say you see external effects. So you just need to set up your output and your input. And there you go, level sand, level return. That's in interesting. And you can set up more than one. If you put that on a bus, you can send, of course, many uh, signals to it. If I put up the mixer, mix the external is on, on a bus like that. You can send many instrument to that bus and uh, get it processed. All right. And after that, uh, I like MIDI plugins. It says that it will support MIDI plugins. Let's see if they put some in. 
So let's take this track. Yeah, the MIDI button is right here, very small. And if we go for effects, probably in the plugin browser as well. I've looked around a lot and I did not find where to add uh, an arpeggiator or something similar to that track. So if you did find out, please tell me in the comments. I'm gonna go to the next um, new feature. Improve user friendliness. Mixer and plugin browser can be now docked. Making, it, uh, yeah, okay. We want to dock it. They go in separate pages. So for, yeah, that could be nice. They uh, get out of the way. So the plugin browser could be docked maybe. Hmm. The plugin browser should be dockable, but Again, I don't see how. There's no part that appears like uh, the mixer. If we take the mixer and we want to dock it, if you just keep your mouse clicked, then it shows where it can go. So I can put it right there if I want. or there as a page, but the plugin browser does not do that. See, I clicked, but there's nothing appearing anywhere. I don't know, maybe it's a bug. Let me know in the comments. Precise crossfade editing, let's check this. So let's uh, cut maybe there. And if we activate the crossfade, let's zoom in. If we right click, we can choose crossfade editor. Ah, that's nice. How many seconds? And you see the parts. Wow. Okay, I would have to check that further and see what we can do. There's uh, some interesting things. Overlap. Hmm. All right, after that, they say improve design. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, the buttons and everything seems really square. Is it better that, that it was? So what do you like more? Just say so in the comments. Either this, so again, this or this. To me, it's very similar, but those add some shadows. And here too. And the other one, there's none. It seems simplified, but is it better looking? Not sure. Improved design. New, modern, yeah. Okay, highlights. 
improve export workflow we seen that external external yeah midi plugins yes it supports it but there's none included it seems friendliness i don't know not sure about that uh precise and crossfading yeah this seems to be uh, interesting uh improved design no uh ozone 9 it was there before melodyne was there before 21 virtual instrument there was some before all right you've seen the new features um those mini plugins i did not find so if you did please write down in the comments where they are or how they can be activated uh, but i think that if you download other plugins uh, from the uh, from third parties they will be uh, available in the plugin browser or something like that so that's okay um, as for the look it has been simplified is it looking better or not you be the judge say so in the comments um, if you already own x5 or x6 is it worth it to upgrade well not sure um, there's not a lot of different features from the prior versions uh, maybe if you are on x1 2 or 3 uh, it's worth it but x6 to 7 i don't know um, of course just for the sake of getting all the upgrades and the bug fixing that could be a good idea so you'll be the judge i won't uh, say that you need it absolutely uh, but if you ever think so uh, getting the upgrade or make a new purchase go in the description of this video there's a link they'll get back to that uh, channel so it will help um, i hope you like this video if you did please click on the like button consider subscribing hit the bell to get notifications and another way to help the channel is to uh, look at a lot of videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.